Penn State Health decided to bring all the different providers that do cosmetic work into one center to create a multidisciplinary approach to really treat all of patients' aesthetic needs. You can come in with us and we can go over your skincare regimen and perhaps recommend treatments and products for you to use. If we also feel you might benefit from seeing one of our cosmetic practitioners, then we can recommend a consult with them. We basically spend a lot of time speaking about their um, concerns and then assessing them, physical examination, and then most of the time is spent uh, discussing and educating and making sure their expectations are in line with what we can deliver for them. It's really, really important to seek out providers who have gone through very um, strenuous training and they have a lot of experience. And then they've gone through and they've done oral tests and they've done written tests. And we continue to maintain our certifications through board certifications. And several of our providers have multiple board certifications. So it's a very experienced and trained group. I'm one of the cosmetic dermatologists here at Esteem. I focus on non-invasive uh, rejuvenation techniques Techniques. I also do PRP for hair rejuvenation, um, and that is a platelet-rich plasma protein. And what that does is helps, um, has many growth factors in your platelets, and by injecting that into your scalp, it can help bring back hair um, and thicken the shaft and give you more coverage. I'm a facial plastic surgeon, which means that I'm double board certified in head and neck surgery as well as in facial plastic and reconstructive surgery. And I only do cosmetic procedures from the collarbones up. Upper and lower eyelid tucks, it may be doing um, implants for the face, chin implants. I do a fair amount of rhinoplasty or nose surgery for reshaping, as well as um, facelifts, neck lifts, and the like. For myself, uh, patients come for a mostly breast and body type of enhancement and work. Um, I work a lot with patients after weight loss procedures uh, or if, if they've lost a lot of weight and have extra skin. The mommy makeover term includes people that have had raised their children and after having a baby, your skin gets stretched out quite a bit. Sometimes the muscles themselves get stretched apart. We call that a diastasis. So a number of people do see us for that type of a symptomatology. That can be quite functionally impairing to people. A procedure known as an abdominoplasty can help with that. So I am a dermatologic surgeon. So I do a lot of skin cancer surgery. And in Esteem, our cosmetic center, I focus on non-invasive rejuvenation. So that means things like fillers and Botox and other similar agents, which we use to treat either fine lines or even deeper folds and wrinkles. We do a host of chemical peels for various indications and a whole range of laser treatments. So I'm super excited. We have a Luminous Ultra Pulse. It's a laser that we just purchased. I think it's the flagship laser for what we term fractional resurfacing procedures. So that's a procedure we use for acne scarring. It's our most effective treatment for acne scarring. It's also our most effective treatment for general aged skin. People come in and they just don't quite feel like they used to. And to really help uh, the outer portion of the body match the way they're feeling inside is, is really wonderful. I think the most rewarding part of my job is to help deliver on the expectations that we set at the start and seeing a happy patient at the end of the procedure after they're all recovered and the healing process is done. Seeing changes in people's appearance that makes them feel better about themselves. They walk taller, they smile broader, they feel better about themselves. I think self-care is the number one most important thing um, you can do. I think that a lot of times we tend to everybody around us and forget about ourselves. Um, but I think that if you first care for yourself, then you can give more care for others.